One of the first things you'll want to do if you actually run out of toilet paper in these tough times is simply just go ask your neighbor. Um, I, we, we had a actual neighbor post on uh, social media that she was running low on toilet paper and you know we were able to take her some rolls up there and to tide her over until she found some on the shelves. So don't be scared to ask someone first so you don't have to go through some of these things that we're going to show you in just a few minutes. Something they used centuries ago was actually smooth river rock. Um, I'll let you decide whether you want the large one or the small one. One I do not recommend is lava rock. The texture's really rough. Might be a little painful, so I wouldn't recommend this one. As time went on, we got a little bit more civilized, so we moved on up to lettuce leaves and corn cobs. Here again, that's a little rough, and, and you really have to be careful with what leaves you pick. These are lettuce. You can use tree leaves, but try not to use poison oak or poison ivy. That could create a whole other problem. As time went on, we got a little bit more civilized and they actually had outhouses and they would use newspaper and I don't have a phone book anymore, but they would use phone books and they would also use the almanac, the farmer's almanac. And as you can see, it, it's been around since, uh, what's that say, honey? 1792. 1792. And something we learned is this hole right here um, when you when they would hang it on a nail in the outhouse um, so they would have access to the sheets or I guess to, to read whichever one but anyway that's what this hole was for was to hang it on a nail so the things that we're going to show you well all the things that we have showed you do not flush these things down the toilet just just so you don't have to call your plumber okay we have gone from the outhouses and we've moved to indoor plumbing. Um, some of the things uh, before they actually had toilet paper that people would, um, that they really would use would be like rags, washcloths, those type things. Um, and just for fun, if you want to use those mismatched socks that you have, I mean, now would probably be a good time to take advantage of using those. Uh, one of the things I wanted to tell you about using the washcloth is, um, you know, once you use it, obviously, um, if you don't have a lot of washcloths, you don't want to really throw it away. So get you a bucket, fill it with water, and just drop your washcloth into your bucket of water. And then take some baking soda, you know, put it in you a, a, a sprinkler, you know, a shaker container, and just shake some baking soda on that. Um, and that'll help cut down on the odor and, you know, you probably want to wash pretty often, but when you do wash, you know, wash in hot water, um, you know, you can pour this water off or pour it into your wash machine. You can put, um, you know, hot water and your detergent will kill the bacteria. So, um, those are some things that they used to do. Um, the next thing we're going to show you is actually probably what you really have on hand and, and that you could really use if you can't find toilet paper. So these are some of the common things you probably already have around your house if you have ran out of toilet paper. These are definitely things you do not want to flush. So, uh, you probably have some wipies. Um, you can use wipies. These are really thick. Even the, these are not flushable, they're baby wipes. Uh, but they do have flushable wipes, and just because they say they're flushable does not mean they dissipate in your plumbing system. So if you want to save on plumbing bills, do not flush wipes, flushable or not. Um, I would suggest on all the things that I'm going to show you is you have you a bag of have you a bag of bags sitting close to your potty. You're going to put your wipey in the bag and then you're going to tie it up and put it in your trash can. That way 
It will cut down on odor and you won't have plumbing issues. Next, we have Kleenexes, or you can even use paper towels. Most importantly, do not flush these. I'm gonna leave a link to a video we have of what not to flush in the um, description below and the link above. Hopefully you found this video helpful and lighthearted. Um, I want to reiterate the number one thing that you can learn from this video is to help your neighbor. Um, you know, reach out to your neighbor, check to see if there's something you could do to help them. Um, you know, it, it goes both ways. So, um, you know, use this time to, to communicate. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you guys and give us a thumbs up, share, and subscribe.